Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Sometimes your renderings are just a little bit too dark. I have four easy ways that you can quickly adjust the overall brightness of your rendering and all of them can be found by clicking on the light bulb. If I left click on the light bulb, you'll see lighting options or lighting modes. The first one I'm going to talk about is ceiling. If you ever looked in the corner of a room and maybe it's just a little too dark, you really just want to adjust one area, you can click on ceiling where it reads lighting intensity, click on the arrow and choose a brightness. I'm going to choose 100 so that it really shows up on the screen. When I click on 100, I can go down to the little floor plan here and you'll see there's a yellow circle. If I hold my left button down on the yellow circle and start to move, watch my perspective. You'll see as I move this around that it starts to make certain areas brighter because I am spotlighting or highlighting that area. So if you find one particular spot in your kitchen is not bright enough, quick fix is to go to ceiling light, simply move this over to the area and let it go and when it re-renders, that area will be much brighter. Now there's also an option for changing the overall room. So my second and third technique would both be found under scene. If I click on scene, you'll see it says ambient light intensity and user light intensity. Both of these, you can scroll left and right. If you go left, it gets darker. If you move to the right, you make the room brighter. Ambient light intensity actually controls the light that's coming through the windows and doors. If I hold my button down on that and move to the right, it makes the overall room just a little bit brighter. You don't want to move too far because it'll make it too bright, so I moved it just a little bit. User light intensity, this actually controls the light that you custom placed in the room. So if you have placed lights in the ceiling or under the cabinets or above the cabinets or anywhere else in the room, you can, just like we did with ambient light intensity, take hold of the bar, move it to the right and make all of those lights brighter. So simply by moving these two tabs, you can make the overall room brighter that quickly. Now there is a fourth option that I mentioned. The fourth option is image. Now image really isn't meant for the perspective that you're looking at on the screen. Image is meant for when you print. So just like sometimes when you're looking at the screen, the uh, perspective is just a little bit too dark. Well, sometimes when you print, it's too dark as well. If you go to image and put a check mark next to exposure, you can actually adjust the bar to the right and you'll see that it counts one, two, three, four, and so forth. You can actually take it one exposure brighter or two exposures brighter. My recommendation for this is to make it one exposure brighter click print and see how it looks. That'll probably make your room just as bright as you want it to be in your printout. Please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.